Hey guys, welcome back. So I am going to be doing the first video in my makeup decluttering series and I figured I would start with the products that I have the most of which by far are my lip products. Now I decided not to do all of my lip products in one video because I do have quite a few lip products and if I did them all in one video I have a feeling this video would be literally like an hour long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide it up into several categories within the lip category and this first video is going to be solely on lipsticks just straight out of the tube general lipsticks as you can see I have quite a few lipsticks here this is the holder that I use for my lipsticks as you can see I have some that are like don't even fit in this holder so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through all of my lipsticks one by one I'm gonna swatch them I'm gonna see how I feel about them basically the philosophy that I'm going into this is is one first off do I like the color Two, is it a color that I'm going to wear and I'm going to reach for? And three, do I like it? I mean, does it make me happy? Is it something that I feel happy about having in my collection? Because makeup is something that's supposed to make you happy. It's supposed to bring you joy. So I want, when I look at these lipsticks, I want to feel some sort of happiness. And I don't just want to feel like I'm collecting them and I have them just to have them or I'm keeping them just because they were expensive. So my goal is, as you can see, this thing is completely filled up and I've got some that are just excess on the side. My goal is to have minimum at least one full row gone but I would really like to have two full rows gone so I think I can do it I think there's a bunch in here that I'm actually really wanting to get rid of a lot of my max I'm probably gonna be keeping but I'm gonna go through them one by one just because I really I haven't gone through my makeup collection in a long time and I kind of want to just see where everything is what everything looks like just some colors that maybe don't work for anymore I feel like I've changed a lot in the past couple of years that I started really getting into makeup my color palette has changed I used to be really into reds and pinks and, and now I've gotten more into like browns and gray so there are probably a lot of things in here that I just don't feel like suit my personality anymore so I'm actually really excited to go through these so what I'm gonna do because I like watching these makeup decluttering videos where everything is just kind of in a pile at first and then it's really aesthetically pleasing to see each thing kind of taken out and in the end it's really satisfying to just see that pile just go down and down and then at the end have two separate piles the thing that I am going to be getting rid of I am going to just make sure that it's not expired I'm gonna make sure obviously that the product is okay and everything is going to be for sale in my Poshmark store my link will be above as well as in the description box below so let's get started all right let's just jump all of these guys out Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'm not really gonna have any rhyme or reason. I'm just gonna grab things as I see them and everything that I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna put here in my holder. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of hard because my bed is not really a flat surface, but everything that I'm keep, I'm gonna go, in, go ahead and just put in this holder and everything that I decide not to keep, I'm gonna try to put it like right back here in this pile. Can you see my hand? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. The first one is uh, Urban Decay Lipstick in Anarchy and this is kind of like a, that's like a cult classic or a cult favorite. I definitely do like that. I think that this is something that I still will wear. It's a color that I think is really still wearable for my personality. And every now and then you want like a really bright lip, but I'm thinking that Max Candy Yum Yum is probably very similar to this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this in a separate maybe pile. So I'm really gonna just kind of do some swatches, some comparison to see whether or not this is something that I wanna keep in my collection. Cause I haven't used it all that much, but it is gorgeous. So I tried to widen the shot some so you can guys can see this entire thing and this is gonna go in the maybe pile I'm gonna put the maybe pile back here for so that I can swatch it against um, max candy yum yum to see just how similar they are all right the next one I'm picking up this is Milani's lipstick and no it's not Milani it's L'Oreal's lipstick in a pink flamingo it's 180 pink flamingo let's see it's a very nice kind of hot pinkish or actually it's more of a baby pink um it is really pretty if you can see it, I hope that you guys can see it. It's just really the only way I can film this is kind of leaned over on my bed. Otherwise, the only way I'd be able to do it is on my floor, and I don't know how that would work out. So bear with me, guys. So that is it next to it. Hmm. I'm thinking I'm going to put this in my maybe pile also just to see if I have any more kind of those baby pinks. If I don't, then I'll keep this one because I think everybody needs like a baby pink lipstick in their life. So I'm going to put this back here in the maybe pile. Do you want to get, I'm going to move this so you can see. This is the maybe pile here. All right, the next one, whoop, cap's coming off. This is the Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick and the color is matte tease it's 04. this is a really pretty color but wow that actually is 
oh, this is gonna be harder than I thought. I was thinking I was like for sure gonna get rid of this one. You can see it right here. Wow, that's actually really pretty. I think it's actually something that <laughs> is a color that's up my alley these days. I like like the dusty roses and stuff like that. And um, like I said, browns and grays and stuff like that. So huh, I think I might hang on to this one for right now. Clearly, guys, we're not off to a good start. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, put that one in the keep pile. And this is um, CoverGirl's The Queen Collection Penelope Pink. I remember loving this when I first got it. It was just such a pretty color. It's very, um, see a lot of these I feel like I need to wear them. I need to put them on my lips and see how they work with my skin tone and just against other colors. This one's actually very similar to this one, but I think I'm going to have to put this in the maybe pile also because I really need to try these on my lips because I can't remember how some of these feel on my lips. So this is going to go in the maybe pile. Guys, we're not off to a good start. I don't know why somehow I'm like um, grabbing all of the pink shades. This is this is the Milani lipstick in uh, 07 Rose Hip. This one looks very similar to Anarchy. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is like very, very similar to Anarchy. Like almost very, can you see those two shades? I'm sorry guys, is my light too bright? Um, of course you guys can't answer me, but this is actually really similar to Anarchy, but I'm not sure which one I want to keep. Because like I said, everything that I'm going to be getting rid of, I'm going to be selling in my Poshmark store. And everything that I'm going to be selling, I am going to be using the money for extra money for Christmas. Since we have been kind of um, in a budget rut lately, we've had some unexpected things come up. So I'm thinking that Anarchy would obviously sell for more money than Rose Hip. And they literally look exactly like I'm going to put it like right underneath. I'm gonna put like put it together. Did you guys see like it literally blends perfectly together? It's the exact same thing. So I think I'm gonna keep Rose Hip and get rid of Anarchy so that I can sell because I don't need to literally the exact same color. And that's probably why I bought this and then I ended up getting the original. So I'm gonna, all right, so that's my maybes. I'm gonna go ahead, put the first one in the get rid of pile back here and I'm gonna keep Rose Hip. All right, the next one is the L'Oreal uh, Colorish Rich. It's the L'Oreal Lipstick 171 in Pink Cashmere. I have no idea how I just happened to be picking up all the pinks, which, like I said, it, like when I first started getting into makeup and stuff, I was into a lot of pinks. So that's why I have a ton of pinks. This is, oh yeah, this is very sheer. It's pretty, but it's very sheer. So definitely this is, you know, I have no issues with getting rid of that. Here's another Urban Decay lipstick. These are really well made. The packaging is like super nice and heavy. This is Fiend. I think this is one of the ones that I wore quite a bit. Yeah, oh yeah, this is definitely still a, a color that's really up my alley. Cut out that Dusty Rose Nude. This is gorgeous, so I'm definitely gonna keep this big guy. And the next one I'm picking up here is NYX, and this is in Shiva. And I feel like this is also very similar to like Anarchy and that rose hip color. I'm just gonna put it actually right down. Yeah, this is pretty, it might be slightly more sheer, but as you can see, like that is almost the exact same color. Um, yeah, it's, I definitely don't need this. And I wish that it, it wasn't, you know, such an inexpensive lipstick. I don't even know if I can probably even sell this one. I might actually give that to my best friend because she, she wears NYX a lot. Um, she only wears cruelty-free brands, so I think I'm gonna pass this along to her. But either way, it's gonna go in the get rid of pile. All right, the next one, these are a couple of lipsticks that I wasn't sure if they would fit in this category, but they are marketed as lipsticks. These are the Maybelline, um, I don't know what like the, the line is, but, uh, da, 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 da. oh, it's the Elixir, Captivating, Captivating Carnation 080. They're kind of liquidy, but I didn't think they really qualify as liquid lipsticks. I mean, so I'm gonna go ahead and just, ooh, yeah. They almost are like glossy, they're very, Glossy. Um, yeah, I don't really like these. I don't know why I got them. I think that I just got them because they were like new when they came out. I got a couple more of these. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab these. This one is Nude Illusion 060. I just don't like the texture of these already. I can tell like, yeah, these are so like, can you guys see like how like gooey these are? I don't know. I mean, they still smell fine. I don't know. So I'm definitely, I don't even need to really source the rest of these. I'm just going to get rid of all these. I can get rid of all these as like a bundle. This is a Hibiscus Haven. 
And the last one I think in this one is the uh, pedal push. So I'm gonna get rid of all of these guys. So I think we're off off to a good start a little bit. We had a little bit of a of a hitch in the beginning. But okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna go ahead and just say most likely almost all, if not all of my Mac uh, Mac blushes, Mac lipsticks. I'm going to be keeping. I just love Mac. I love everything about Mac, and pretty much all of these shades that I picked out, I picked out specifically because I really, really wanted them. I mean, I really did, kind of did the research. I watched a lot of videos with people swatching them and wearing them with different looks, and I really like. I looked for coupon codes, and so pretty much every Mac lipstick I've gotten has been like a really um, hasn't been like a snap judgment. I've been really like I really looked into it, basically. So. This is the um, matte. It is the matte lipstick and Please Me. Yeah, this is a very nice nudie nude. Yeah, that is perfection. That one is definitely staying. Le guys, let me know if in my next video um, you want me to put down the lights because I feel like I really wanted you to actually be able to see things. So um, let me know if they're too bright and I will put it down because right now I have all five bulbs on. I will gladly you know put two off or one off or I will just put one on let me know what you guys think anyway so the next one this is the NYX um, butter lipstick and taffy hmm I can already tell right now I'm probably not going to yeah it's very baby baby doll pink and it's I swear all of these look very very similar because this is the kind of lipsticks colors I was into a long time ago so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this guy here looking good and this is the Too Faced. These are also really like the um, Urban Decay lipsticks. They're really well made. They're just heavy. They have a nice like weight to them. This is Marshmallow Bunny and I think this one and the other Too Faced one I have I got in like a holiday set last year. Um, I don't know if it was last year or the year before. I'm not sure. One of their holiday or special sets. So yeah this is Marshmallow Bunny. Mm, that is very very sheer. So I mean honestly I I don't really see the point of wearing lipstick if it's gonna be so sheer. I mean, if it's gonna be that sheer, I'll just wear like a butter gloss or something. So I'm definitely gonna get rid of this. Let me go ahead and just pick up the next Too Faced one I have. That's the only Too Faced lipstick I have, I think. Because most of the Too Faced stuff I have is eyeshadows. This is in Believe. This is definitely way darker, so let's see. Hmm. It's right there. Um, it is a nice color, but I think it has too much shine. It has a lot of shine. I don't know. I feel like a lot of these have a lot of shine, except for like the very these in here. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one too. Go ahead and grab this Max lipstick here. This is in um, Maked Paris. Is that how it says? I always thought it was marked, but then I looked at it one day and I was like, no, it says Maked. Or is it supposed to be pronounced differently? I don't know, guys. Let me know. But it's definitely like a really nice nude. Yeah, this one is a little bit kind of sheer, but. You know, if I'm going to go for a sheer lipstick, I'm going to go for one of my really good quality MACs. So, this one I'm definitely going to keep. Let me go ahead and just grab this next matte lipstick. This is a Luster, and this is in Rose Lily. And this is, this is a very... Hmm. That is a very baby... <laughs> it's kind of like a, almost like a lavender, lilac-y color. And I feel like these lights are just drowning it out. This I actually might put in the maybe pile, because... Hmm, yeah. Oh, also, yeah, I think we determined that Pink Flamingo was the dupe for Anarchy. I'm not sure about that one, but I'm gonna put it in the maybe. Just to see, because I think that's one of the ones I need to put on my lips, just to really see. And this is the Urban Decay Lipstick and Obsessed. I think this is another one that I used to wear all the time. Hmm. It's definitely a nice pink, but like I said, I'm just not really that much into pinks lately. I mean, and I really only need like maybe two or three pink lipsticks. I don't feel like I need so many pink lipsticks. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the get rid of pile. And then this is uh, MAC Amplified and Happy Go Lucky. This is I think one of the collections that came out recently. Yeah, so if I'm gonna go for a pink lipstick, it is gonna be this guy right here. As you can see, I barely used this one. So yeah, that is a nice pink. I mean, that looks very, also very similar to these. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this guy here. And this is another butter, uh, NYX butter lipstick, and this is in, what is it in? Gumdrop. 
Yeah, it's a very, very pink. Um, yeah, that that almost looks, yeah, that looks very similar to a lot of these, honestly. I think I'm gonna pass this along. This is, what brand is this? Um, it literally does not say what brand it is. Oh, Maybelline. This is Maybelline 720 and Power Peony. That's a very nice kind of lavendery pink. Like I said, again, <laughs> I feel like a lot of these shades are way, way, way more similar than I ever would have imagined. I definitely don't need this color, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of it. I mean, I just don't see myself wearing a lot of these shades anymore, and I think that's the point, is really just going through your makeup collection, because you change. I mean, you change as a person, your person, not your personality change, but your likes and your dislikes change, so I feel like I definitely need to just keep up with what I'm into now, and then just keep a little of, like, some of my old things. So if I want to go for that pink lip or that hot pink lip or that baby doll pink lip, I have at least one lipstick to fall back on. All right, the next one is, what is this, the Rimmel London? I think, is this one of the Kate? Yeah, Kate, this is in 01. Um, what is the name of the... I don't know what the shade is. Do they, are these one of the ones that don't have shades? Anyway, it's in 01, so... And it is a nice, like, true red. Yeah, that is really pretty, actually. It's very pretty. Um, I'm gonna put this in my maybe, because if I don't have another lip, another red that looks like this, then I'm gonna keep this one. So, I'm gonna go put that in my maybe, and this is the second, um, Georgiana Modern Matte. I think this one is actually more, way more what I'm into right now, so I was so... Well, that is so nice. These swatches are getting a little bit more uncontrolled. Ah, uh, damn, that's really nice. I feel like it also, hold on, looks very similar to like these up here, almost like a mixture of these two here. Okay, well, I'm gonna, God, I'm gonna put this in my maybe, because I like it, but I'm not sure if I wanna keep it. And this is just a little, um, mini. I have a couple of these minis. I got these for Christmas last year of the Estee Lauder. I just want to just watch them just make sure that I'm keeping them for the right reasons because I haven't really used them a ton. Um, oh, this is a really nice red. I'm going to put that right next to that Rimmel one to see. That's actually really, really pretty. Dang. That's really pretty. That's very, very, very similar. I feel like the Rimmel maybe is a little bit darker. But this one is really nice. Mm -hmm. I might have to do like a wear test on both of those. Just put one on the top and one on the bottom and see which one wears better. Let's see. And they both kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and just go through the rest of these little Estee Lauder minis that I got last year. This is Indesirable. Did I say what that one was in? The first one? Envious. This is Indesirable. This looks like a very, very pretty nude. I'm just going to swatch this guy right here. Ooh, that's very, that's like a nice, true nude. That guy, I'm thinking, can you guys even see where I'm swatching? It's right here. Yeah, that's very nice. I think I'm actually going to keep this. Um, it's, a, it's a mini, so it'll probably, go, it'll obviously go up a lot faster, but I rarely ever use up full lipsticks. And this is dynamic. Ooh, this is a little bit of a darker nude. I'm gonna do, yeah, that's like a nice, yeah, it's like a mid-tone nude. Oh, I feel like it looks like so many other colors, though. Ugh, this might go on the maybe. This one looks exactly like that one. I'm not even sure if that one of the ones I kept. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. This is gonna be one that I'm gonna have to wear and see exactly what it looks like on my lips. Then tumultuous pink. Yeah, this is more of a kind of, yeah, definitely, oh, this looks, Almost exactly. It's a little bit darker than like some of the ones that I was comparing earlier, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this guy because I really just don't need that color in my life. I'm gonna have to start swatching down. And this is, oh, I know this is definitely one of the ones I know I want to um, keep. This is the Milani Nipstick and Nude Cream. This is such a pretty color, like ridiculously pretty. Such a pretty nude, like... Yeah, it looks kind of similar to this, a little bit lighter. This, this is a really, really great color, especially when you're wearing like a bold eye. So I'm gonna keep that guy. 
This is another Rimmel Kate. This is in number 12. This is definitely more of like an orangey red. All right, I'm gonna put this. Oh yeah, I don't know why I got that color. I am never gonna wear like orangey colors, so that guy's getting rid of. This is Max Myth, I know for sure. This is like a super like flesh colored concealer nude. It is just, yeah, that is definitely perfect. That one I'm keeping. Look, I mean, so far we only have one row filled up. I think that's doing pretty good. These, I only have two Lime Crime actual lipsticks. You guys know that I'm not down with all the, you know, all the shit that's going on with them, so I definitely do not plan on buying anything from them in the future, but I have these and I'm not gonna throw them away just because, you know, they have shady business practices, but I may decide to get rid of them, or I mean decide to sell them, so we'll never know <laughs> until we go through and swatch them. So this is um, the um, lipstick in the Baybette. Oh shit. I didn't even remember what it looked like, but now I'm looking and I'm like, damn. This is probably very similar. Oh no, it's completely different than Myth. It's actually kind of a combination of like Myth and then this one. Oh yes, shit. Now I'm gonna have to keep this one because it is very pretty. <laughs> and the second one I have is, um, it's this co co coquette, coquette, C-O-Q-U-E-T-T-E. Coquette? Coquette? Oh, is that Coquet? Co oh, dude, I fucking don't know. And this is also, of course, another gorgeous nude. Damn it, Lime Crime, you stupid bit. Wait, these look very similar. Now that I'm looking at these two, on camera they actually are, this one's coming up darker, but they look very, very similar. And that's definitely probably why I got them. I think I got them both at the same time because of that. Oh gonna keep them both son of a bitch okay the next one is the cover girl lipstick in sweetheart I think I've like so, somehow managed to get myself so close to this camera now which is a good thing this is what it looks like and I'm thinking this is probably gonna be something that I'm gonna get rid of yeah that's got way too much like shimmer metallic as you can even see in the light that's way too much so that one is going bye bye here is an, oh, this is nude cream. I was like, where did that go? Like, I know I swatched that. All right, that's being kept. And this is another uh, Rimmel Kate. This is a number 17. That's very pretty. It definitely looks, did I keep something similar to this? I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna have to put this in the maybe pile because it's very pretty, but I'm not sure if I kept anything similar to it or not. The next one is, I should have been swatched. No, I guess I wouldn't have known if I'm gonna keep it. Or not, when I swatched it, dumbass. All right, the next one is the Urban Decay Lipstick in Turn On. God, this looks so fucking similar to everything else that's in here. I am such a creature of habit. I'm so glad that I'm actually changing. This is actually a really pretty color, damn. As I'm sitting here insulting myself, I'm like, oh, this is a really pretty color. I might keep this one. I haven't kept any, only one Urban Decay lipstick so far, and I have quite a few, so I've gotten rid of two, so I gotta keep that one. And I feel like a lot of these Max I'm gonna keep, so I might as well just grab some of these. This is Mare, M-E-H-R, Mer, Mare, I don't know, guys. Um, and this is a matte, doo -doo -doo -doo. this is gonna be like the swatchiest arm ever. Oh, that's fucking gorgeous. Yeah, that one's gonna be staying in my collection. Let's grab another MAC lipstick as my foot totally falls asleep. This is Amorous, and this is a Satin. I think I got this definitely this year, because as you can see, there's very little uses on it, so I don't even remember why I got this. Ooh, that's kind of, it's like a very purpley brown, which is kind of, it's almost like a different, it's like a little bit darker than this, like a kind of like if you added a little bit purple to this, that's an interesting color, actually, that I'm looking at. I think I'm gonna hang on to this. Cause I definitely, as you can see, I definitely don't have anything like it on my arm so far. So that's, a, it's really nice to like, I was thinking about, um, I was thinking about wiping these off, but it's actually nice to have like a color reference. Like, oh, this one looks like this one. So I don't need both of them. So look at me being all smarty pants. The next one is uh, Max Satin and uh, Mac, it's a satin and it's flesh pot, which is also very, very nice nude. I'm just gonna put this on this empty skin. Yeah, it's very, yeah, it's similar to, what is that, Myth? But it's definitely a little bit darker. So, and I'm trying to see 
I don't see anything that's exactly like it, so I'm gonna keep this bad boy. The next one is, what is this? Is this CoverGirl? Yeah, CoverGirl. This is an Enchanted Blush. I swear I thought that said Enchanted Bitch, and I was gonna keep it just solely on the principle of the name. Like, if I ever came up with a makeup company, that would be some of the names, and it would be, like, perfection. And this is very, very bubblegum Barbie pink, and, yeah, I'm trying to find some... Maybe I should not make the... Oh, whoa, lordy, lordy, no! Why did I ever think that I could pull off a color like that definitely going in the turn these are starting to morph into each other I don't, I don't think you guys can see the well the pile back here is getting pretty big so i'm going to show you when i get to the end obviously um this is covergirl this is covergirl right lipstick and temptress this is also i'm thinking going to be a new let's see yeah that is a pretty color but i just I don't really, I don't really like it that much. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. I'm not really feeling it. All right, so we're getting a little bit small. I'm honestly surprised we haven't even filled up two freaking rows on this thing yet. And I feel like my battery's going out. I'm gonna have to charge my battery in a minute, which is good because I need to take a break and let blood get back into my foot. This is another Rimmel Kate, and this is an 06. And let's find a spot. Ooh, I don't need a color like that. This is actually a lot easier than I thought, seriously. I, yeah, I'm just so ready to get rid of some of this stuff. And honestly, if I can sell this stuff and get some extra Christmas money, that would be well, well worth it. And this is the, I don't even know how I have this. I'm pretty, wait, is this a freaking lipstick or is this a mascara? Dude, this is a mascara. I was about to say, I don't have any Givenchy lipsticks. If I did, it must have come in like one of those Sephora Gimme Lip uh, sets. Yeah, this is a freaking, mascara that looks exactly like a lipstick way to go all right so that's definitely going back here all right let me do one more and then i'm going to take a break to charge this this is the mary Kay um lipstick i actually just got this this year this is the rouge petard this was um our local als community was doing kind of like uh it was budding up with a local mary Kay representative and basically all of the proceeds of this lipstick went to the local als chapter so i bought it of course it is a red it's kind of like an orangey red so um no it's not that orangey it's pretty nice so i'm gonna go ahead and keep that just because i honestly haven't even worn it yet um so i want to go ahead and just see how it looks on my lips how it feels and all that stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and keep this actually i'm gonna put this in my maybe palm just so i can sh see how it looks on my lips before i make a decision. Let's continue with round two. Went ahead and wiped my arm off while my battery was charging. I went ahead and looked at the footage. I noticed that the lights were a little bit bright when some I was doing some of the swatches, so I did lower it. I turned two of the lights off. So let's go ahead and continue. Here is my giveaway, sell, get rid of pile. Here's my maybe, and here's what we're still working with. And this, of course, is what I'm going to be keeping. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and pick up one. This is the Smashbox lipstick in nylon nude. I think this might be my only Smashbox lipstick. I might have one more. I'm not sure just from looking at it, but let's go ahead and swatch this guy. It's a very pretty nude. Yeah, I still have some remnants of the, uh, the first round, so let's just swatch that. That's actually a really pretty nude. Huh. I don't know if I've ever worn this actually, so I'm actually gonna put this in my maybe pile so I can try it on and see what it looks like on my lips. All right, the next one I'm gonna take is the Urban Decay uh, lipstick in Rush. That is what that guy looks like. Just gonna do a little swatchy here. Hmm, I remember. I think this is the one of the ones that I really liked. I'm not sure if it looks similar to something that I've already put in my keep collection but i really like that so i'm gonna go ahead and just keep that one next one i'm picking up is max uh this is a satin and it's twig let's see huh actually now that i'm looking at that that looks very similar to the one that i just swatched this is definitely darker but they're really similar i'm not sure if i want to keep them both honestly um i was actually looking around while i was waiting for my battery to charge on poshmark and some of these urban decay lipsticks are going anywhere from like eight dollars to like fifteen dollars but thinking since they're used i'm probably going to put them at eight dollars so i'm thinking if i want to just get rid of this one because then that's yeah like i said i have christmas on the mind so i'm trying to think if i want to get rid of this one or not um i think i am i'd much rather keep twig so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of rush all right so that uh giveaway i mean get rid of pile is definitely 
getting bigger, which is awesome. All right, I've got the CoverGirl lipstick here in Spellbound. It's number 325. That's what that looks like. It looks like some of the ones that I swatched in the beginning. They looked very similar. Let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, that's very pretty, but like I said, this looks very much like Candy Yum Yum also. I think there was another one that I was going to swatch next to it. Wasn't it always Anarchy? So I'm going to put this one aside so that I can swatch Candy Yum Yum next to it. Actually, let me see if I can find that since I think that I've been talking about that. Here it is. Here's Matt. Here's Candy Yum. Let's see if it's, um, actually, I think this one might be a lot brighter. Yeah, this one's definitely, it almost looks more pinky purple toned, and this one just looks like a deeper purple. <laughs> they definitely look different. Yeah, this one's way brighter, so, hmm, I'm definitely keeping Candy Yum Yum, no doubt about that. So, um, let me see if I have anything else that compares to that. If not, then I might keep that CoverGirl one, because it's really pretty. Okay, another CoverGirl one I have. This is in um, Eternal, number 350. Is this? What? Is this new? How do I have a new lipstick? I have not bought a CoverGirl lipstick in a while. Uh, somehow this... <laughs> did I get the... I don't know. Well, that's weird. It seems as if this is new, so... I guess I have no choice but to swatch it, because I have no idea what it looks like. Well... If I do end up selling it, I can just say, hey, this was only swatched once. So this is an Eternal. It's pretty. I have no memory whatsoever of buying this, but... It is a very pretty color. I just definitely don't... I don't need it. I mean, I really only need, like, one or two lip red lipsticks in my collection. The same with pinks. Uh, so I really... I mean, this is brand new so I'm gonna go ahead and put that into the cell pile or giveaway pile this is a NYX lipstick in margarita Ooh, that is like a frosty coral I swear some of these lipsticks I have no idea whether in my collection yeah uh, yeah the next ones I'm definitely gonna pass along to my friend cuz I don't know what I was thinking but some of these honestly <laughs> this is a NARS lipstick I think this is the only NARS like, straight up lipstick that I have. This is the NARS lipstick in Dolce Vita. Let's see. Ooh, that's a very nice, like, nudie brown. Ooh, it's very sheer, though. It's like, hmm. Yeah, it's, like, extremely sheer. It almost looks like a gloss. I mean, it looks so pretty in the tube, but in the swatch. Woo, no, so, yeah, I'm definitely going to sell this guy. And this is my last, no, I got one more. This is, well, this is the last Urban Decay lipstick of this kind. Um, I don't know what collection this was from, but this is Naked. Let's see. I think it's probably, it's very similar to what something, yeah. Hmm. That is very pretty. Huh, I wish I had all the swatches still on my hand from before so I can compare it to It looks almost like one of these. I'm not sure about this one. Hmm. I really like the way these swatch better, honestly. This one almost swatches a little bit chalky. I don't know if it's just me, maybe it's just my hand. I don't know, let's see. I'm gonna try to swatch it over here and see. Yeah, it's swatching almost kind of chalky, I don't know. If that's just the, the lipstick or what? I mean, these weren't, these aren't old or anything. I mean, I just bought these, uh, like, I don't know, the beginning of the year? When, whenever they came out, I bought them, so. Yeah, I'm, this one is going to also go into the um, sell pile, or the get rid of pile, and I totally have lipstick on my um, bed spread. And this is um, the MAC lipstick, it's a matte and taupe. This one is definitely more of a recent purchase, like this year. Oh uh, yeah, that's freaking, <sighs> yeah, that's perfection. This one is definitely staying with me. Dude, I am actually really fucking surprised, because even if I put all of these lipsticks in here, I'm still going to have like half this thing. Um, empty. So I think I did really good so far. I don't want to get ahead of myself. But another MAC lipstick and cream cup. This one I know for sure. I'm keeping it. As you can see, this one has been very well loved. It's definitely starting to look a little bit. Oh, I'm trying not to. Br oh no! It's not. Oh, it's not going. I was like, it's not going down anymore. Yeah, it's very. It feels like it's very fragile. <laughs> yeah, but this is my cream cup. I love the shade. It's a very gorgeous pinky nude, so I think I need to start using this because it looks like it um, might be on the verge of going bad. 
This is the uh, MAC Amplified Lipstick in Toying Round. I think this is also part of, a collection, of a collection. I have no idea why I got this. It's very coral. Um, as you guys <laughs> have seen from today, I'm just not really much into corals. Um, so this one I probably wore once, maybe twice. So this one is definitely almost brand new. So I'm definitely gonna, uh, by the way, everything that I'm selling, I'm gonna be sanitizing. And you also, I would also advise anybody who buys anything used, even if they say it's new off a site, like seriously sanitize it. Just put a little bit of alcohol mixed with like uh, equal parts water in a spray bottle and just sanitize it. I'm um, definitely gonna be getting rid of this guy cause yeah. Just, it's just not my color. And then this is the MAC Amplified in St. Germain. It's a very pinky, pinky pink. So I think if anything, yeah, this is definitely, I mean, if I'm gonna keep a Barbie pink, it's gonna be St. Germain, cause that's gorgeous. So I'm definitely glad I got rid of like all the other super Barbie pinks. So and that one's staying, another MAC. This is Rebel, of course. I don't think I even need to watch it, but I'll swatch it for you guys. Yeah, this is definitely, Staying in my life purples of course are gorgeous especially for the fall so Keeping that this is oh, this is an elf moisturizing lipstick in a party in the buff well, That's a very pretty nude. Let's see how that applies hmm. That's actually I don't know it almost looks a little bit kind of orangey nude. I'm not sure hmm it, it applies very like creamy though, so it's just, ugh. I hate to say that, like it's pretty, but like I don't see myself, or I never find myself like reaching for an elf lipstick. If I'm reaching for something, it's always one of my high-end lipsticks. I just, I don't know. I mean, I think a lot of people can um, relate to me on that. I just, I mean, if it was like a stunning, stunning shade, then obviously I wouldn't care about the label, but I don't know. And also, like I said, it looks a little bit kind of orangey. In real life it does. It definitely looks, it looks a lot like this shade up here, just a little bit neuter. And I'm pretty sure I got rid of that shade, didn't I? So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just, um, uh, the Osborne collection, this is Kelly Yum Yum, which is very similar to Candy Yum Yum, but uh, yet it is different. So I'm just gonna swatch that right here. So yeah, I think it's, it's definitely like dark, it's like a darker version of Candy Yum Yum. So I'm gonna Keep that one because it's limited edition and then I got another limited edition. This is also from that same Osborne collection. This is Dodgy Girl. I actually really like this and I'm like, why is there, you see that? There's like little specks of something, I don't know. I actually really like this one. It's such a weird color to wear, but I really like it on me. So I'm definitely gonna keep this one. Let's see. Okay, also from MAC, this is a matte and this is stone. Oh, this is definitely one of my more recent purchases from this year. I mean, you can tell by how little I've worn it, but also just the colors. I mean, if they're like those browns or like dark nudes or like grayish almost, it's definitely from this year. I've just gotten so much into those colors and oh my God. This almost looks like straight up like Lime Crime's liquid lipstick in cashmere, but in like lipstick form. So, oh, I have to wear this more often, seriously. Definitely keeping that. MAC lipstick. This is a matte, and the shade is Embrace Me. Ooh, that's another very, very, very hot pink. Some of these I don't even remember exactly what the shades are, but. Hmm. Oh, this is almost like a matte version of Candy Yum Yum. Is Candy Yum Yum matte? I don't even know, dude. Yep, it is. Hmm, let me swatch these together. Okay, so this is Embrace Me. And I'm gonna swatch Kenny Yum Yum next to it. I don't know why I always try to compare everything to Kenny Yum Yum. They are very similar. This one's definitely a little bit darker, but they are very similar. Um, but I like them both, so I'm definitely gonna keep them both. I don't think I got rid of like any Mac, did I? Oh, one. <laughs> the Young, and then this one was, what? Wait, how did this end up over here? Angel? Oh, this was the frosted one in Angel? Max Angel, did I even? Wait, I don't know. I don't know how this ended up on here. If I have like, seriously, like memory loss for some reason, Max Angel? Is that where I, is that the swatch? I don't remember how this got in the maybe pile, but, um. Yeah, that's staying. I don't know. Guys, I just had like a small stroke. All right, anyway, so 
The next one, this is L'Oreal, um, number 135 in Ballerina Shoes. A very, I can already see that's going to be very, very frosty. Um, yeah, it's also extremely sheer. Yeah, I don't, you can't even see it. So, yeah, this is definitely going into the get rid of pile. Holy crap, this get rid of pile is humongous. This is the next uh, MAC lipstick. It's an Amplified in Fast Play. It's another, like, very kind of um, mid-toned nude. Yeah, oh, that's gorgeous. That is just beautiful. Absolutely staying with me. The next one, this is um, one from this year. This is the one of the Viva La Glams. This is an Amplified. This is the Miley Cyrus release. Um, I don't know why I bought this. I swear it looked good online. I also got the gloss with it. I'm going to swatch it just to see. Hmm. This is definitely going to be one that I'm going to have to maybe and see how it looks on my lips. So I'm actually, what I'm going to do, all the maybes, I'm actually going to put in the very back row so that I know to try them on my lips. So yeah. Okay. Which one is this? All right, yeah, so these are the the maybes, and these are the for sure's keeping. Okay, the next one is from Maybelline, and this is in 715 Hibiscus Pop. Ooh, this one has some... It almost looks like this one and that, um, the Kelly Osbourne one, like, colli like, collided or something. I don't know. Anyway, so it's a very bright pink, obviously. Like I said, I don't need 4,000 bright pinks, and this one is very sheer, so it is definitely not even close to worth hanging on to. So this one is going to go and this is an all may lipstick i think i'm pretty sure it's the only all may lip product period i own this is in it's called the smart shade butter in pink light mediums yeah i can already tell it's going to be probably too sheer for me like i said there's really no point in wearing a lipstick it's going to be that freaking sheer so yeah and it's very kind of almost frosty and i'm not into frosty lipsticks whatsoever do not ask me what possess me to buy half these. This is like a little small like sample size of the Bare Minimals um, Marvelous Moxie in Get Ready. Ooh, that looks very pretty. It looks very similar to one of the MAC shades I have on here already. Do not ask me the names. I'm not good with names. Hmm. It actually might look looks very similar to one of the Urban Decay ones. Kind of like these two. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's not that I'm not crazy about it. I mean, like, the whole point of this is I have to, like, look at something and be like, yes, to keep it. Otherwise, why do I have it? I have, look at all this room I have. Oh, my gosh. So, the next one, this is a CoverGirl Lipsticks 255 Delish, Delish Regal, Regal. It would be, I mean, there's a little accent over the E, so I assume it's Regal and not Regal. This one looks like I have literally not touched it. So, we're going to swatch it to see, oh, whether or not I should touch it. Mm, ooh, that's that's actually a really nice nude. I wasn't expecting it to be. And it's super, like, super creamy. That one, yeah, I'm going to keep this one. I think it's, like, one, one of the only CoverGirl lipsticks that made the cut. And this is a little sample size. I think I got this last year for Christmas, I'm not sure, in, like, a little gift set with Bite Beauty. Um, oh, no, this is the Bite for the VIB Rouge from... Um, Sephora. I don't know. This might be... I know they did the Marc Jacobs recently, and this might be the one from last year. I'm not sure, but it's a little, um, very, like, dark red. Actually really pretty. And I don't think the one that I kept, the red that I kept, was actually, like, that intense. So I think I'm going to keep this little guy and try it, especially around the holidays. This is the last Urban Decay one I got. This is the new... Oh, this is the new mattes, and it's, um, it's called 1993. I wore this recently. It's actually really really pretty i know for sure i'm keeping this but i'm gonna swatch it just because i swatched it yeah it looks almost like a a more new toned down version of a stone up here yeah a lot of these are similar like i said so i'm not keeping all the ones that are similar i'm just gonna pick one and then this is the, also the matte the second matte that i got from urban decay new matte lines this is stark naked also i'm planning on keeping this yeah very very gorgeous nude and we are on the very last one which is matte's uh it's a satin in snob which i know i am going to be keeping that's a very very nice pinky nude yeah it's very pretty yeah it almost looks just like that except for it's definitely a lot more pigmented 
Okay guys, holy crap, I am super duper insanely proud of myself. I'm actually gonna get behind the camera and zoom in so you can see exactly what the final results are. So, here we go. Here is my lipstick organizer. Everything I'm keeping fits three, almost three and a half as compared to when this was all filled up, plus there was some on the side. These here are maybes, which means that over the next week or so, I'm gonna try all of these on, and I'm gonna see how they work for me, if they look good in my lips or not, and whether or not I wanna keep them. And let's show what I'm just stashing. All of these lipsticks here, I am going to be getting rid of. Let's count them, shall we? So we can see how awesome my progress was. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoop. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, six, twenty-eight, thirty lipsticks that I'm getting rid of. I am so proud of myself. I honestly didn't think I would get rid of this many. I thought I would at the most have two. Had two um levels or what are they called? Two rows empty, but I did really fucking good and I'm really proud of myself and I'm gonna put by the time you guys watch this video it's all the stuff's gonna be up on my Poshmark with the exception of like some of the NYX ones that I might end up giving to a friend of mine or I'm probably gonna put like all the NYX ones in like a bundle for like five dollars or something like that just because I don't want to throw them away you know because they're you know they could be worth something to someone so and if somebody who doesn't have a lot of money sees that hey they can get all these lipsticks for five dollars so Make sure you check the description box for my Poshmark link. Everything will be listed below. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this journey into my lipsticks. Next up is going to be liquid lipsticks. And boy, do I have a ton of liquid lipsticks. So, so there's going to be a lot in store for that video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.